the effective index method is used to collapse the 3D geometry into a 2D representation. When you run the simulation, the structure is meshed, and for each unique vertical cross-section of the device, an effective material is calculated from the vertical slab mode profile and the vertical material profile at that point. Once we have the effective 2D materials at each XY point in the simulation, we can run a 2D FDTD simulation. One way to think about the effective 2D material at each XY point is basically a weighted average of the vertical stack of materials at that point, weighted by the vertical slab mode profile. The actual calculation is more complex, accounting for things like field polarization. There are two supported approaches to calculating the effective index that you can choose from in the VAR FDTD solver region settings, the variational approach and the reciprocity approach. The equations used to calculate the effective index using these methods are shown here. In the equations, epsilon r is the reference slab permittivity profile, m is the selected slab mode profile, and beta r is the slab mode propagation constant. For more detailed information, see the references for the two effective index calculation approaches listed below this video. The variational approach is the default. There's also an additional option in the settings to clamp effective index values to physical material properties, which sets the minimum and maximum allowable effective index values to the minimum and maximum refractive index of the materials of the 3D structure. This option is enabled by default. The default settings are typically good for most types of devices, so we don't often change these settings. You can verify the results by comparing with 3D FDTD or EME simulations like we did in the My First Simulation section. Both methods use the key assumption that there is negligible coupling between slab modes of the device. This is a good assumption for most silicon on insulator based devices which support two modes with different polarizations. Because the effective materials depend on the selected slab mode, the source that is injected in the simulation will need to have the same polarization as the selected slab mode. For broadband simulations, material fitting using the multi-coefficient model is performed for fitting the effective materials.